guitars one string diddly bows and as you can see right here we have two examples of a diddly bow one is an acoustic example that uses a cigar box as a resonator to give yourself some volume when you're playing acoustically and another example here instead of having a cigar box to project the sound there's an electric guitar pickup on this string but essentially they are the same instrument a one string diddly bow is basically as simple as you get, it's just one string and a stick, and these ones have some markers here to help tell you where the different notes on that one string lie as you go up and down the neck. And you can tell that they don't have a normal fretboard like you would see on a standard guitar. You don't actually push the string in with your fingers. What you do is you use a guitar slide to change the pitch of the string. So here's your open string. And you move the slide up and down the string to change pitches right where these markers are. You find that a lot of the early blues pioneers, almost all of them, started out on one string diddly bows and cigar box guitars. And what that did is it had a big influence on the music they played. Now a good example is a uh, Bo Diddley, who actually started out on the diddly bow and loved it so much, he ended up taking his stage name from the one string diddly bow. And he would play rhythms, I would imagine, when he started. He'd play rhythms a lot like the rhythms he played when he became a, a really famous musician later in his career. You get really percussive sort of riffs on the diddly bow. called the bow diddly rhythm and is uh, perfectly suited for the diddly bow with me plucking with my right hand and muting with my left hand now you can see I'm changing the notes see you get a, a nice acoustic volume out of these instruments. They're not quite as loud as your standard six string acoustic guitar even if you just play one string on that acoustic guitar. Because these are homemade instruments and they're out of found objects, these traditional uh, roots instrument objects like cigar box guitars and a wooden dowel or broomstick, they're not designed originally to be, um, to be used in that manner to be used to project volume so they're not quite as loud but again it makes you play harder, it makes you play more percussively, and that helps you develop more of an authentic style with these genres as well. If you go on to this electric version right here, again it's the same concept, it has one string instead of the cigar box, it has the magnetic pickup down there. And what that allows you to do, instead of just playing it acoustically, it allows you to plug the instrument in. I'm going to play this one on my lap. You can play it guitar style by holding it up and playing it with the slide like this. Or you can uh, play it on your lap like a lap steel. And the benefit of learning it this way is that you develop the muscle memory to then pick up the lap steel and it'll be a lot easier to play. So you 
you can see you play it with a slide still following these markers that are lined up on the fretboard. These brass markers are what's called the minor pentatonic scale and they're basically the scale you use for a lot of blues music. So if you want to learn to improvise on the one string diddly bow here you just tune this open string, that open note, to whatever key of the song your playing is and then you just follow these markers. If you want to play blues you just follow the brass markers. If you want to play more of a major folky maybe melody in the major scale, that's the white lines right here. It's called a diatonic pattern. It's sort of like what you would, uh, the pattern you would have on a dulcimer if you're familiar with that instrument. So you can see it's a very versatile instrument. It's very fun to play. You can use it as an accompaniment, a solo instrument. Um, really, it's, uh, it's versatile and it's a lot like, think of it as a human voice. You know, you have about two octave range. You have to play every note with the slide so you get that. You get that good vocal vibrato, which is, happens when you shake the note. You can play lead guitar lines, you can play bass lines. So you can see it's very versatile. And if you have any questions or you want to find more about the Diddly Bow, you can go to devilguitars.com.au or you can go to my website, justinjohnsonlive.com. Thanks.